Greetings and welcome back to our Standing Watch program. Is this world, are the United States of America faced with nuclear war? We recently heard about speculations, President Bush called them wild speculations, that some in the US government are contemplating launching a nuclear attack against Iran. At the same time, we heard, though, that all options, including the military options, are still on the table. And our most startling and frightening development was revealed this week, and it was published in a magazine or a paper called World Net Daily, talking about the only journalist who was ever able to interview Osama bin Laden. His name is Hamir Mir or Hamid Mir, and he is from Pakistan. And he prophesied, if you please, two days before Osama bin Laden released a tape threatening the Western world, that that tape would be released. And it just was released recently. And Mr. Mir also is claiming now that the Al-Qaeda terrorist group has been planning for more than six years to launch a nuclear attack on the United States from inside the United States. And this operation is called American Hiroshima, or American Hiroshima. And as the story goes, nuclear devices and nuclear weapons and supplies have already been smuggled into the United States from Mexico and secret agents, as they are called, all over the United States are prepared to strike. And it is said that if the United States should attack Iran, they would strike immediately. That shouldn't surprise us too much, considering the close ties between Al-Qaeda and Iran, and especially the current leader of Iran, a man who believes, from all the reports we have read, that he has been preordained and set aside for the purpose of bringing the victory of Islam to the Western world. And looking at all the things he has been saying and he has been doing and the fact that he is not going to give up his nuclear program shows that he is prepared to do so not just only with peaceful means if he deems them necessary. At the same time, we have heard some startling pronouncements by Gaddafi, the leader of Libya, to the effect that Islam will conquer the world. Now, he talked about that's going to happen via peaceful means. But he also said that Muhammad came to supersede all prior religions, and that if Jesus Christ had been alive at the time, he would have followed Muhammad. He also claims that Islam is the only true religion, that all people must become Muslims. And he said that the Bible is a forgery, and it's not a true and correct account. And all and all the blasphemous comments go. When recently some cartoons were published, portraying Muhammad in not so flattering light, thousands, if not tens of thousands of Muslims went on the street to demonstrate. How long is Orthodox Christianity holding back when their belief is being blasphemed in such a tremendously blatant way? The Catholic Church has been trying until now to bring about some harmonious understanding via peaceful means of negotiations. But that has backfired right now in China, where the Chinese government has ordered some Catholic bishops to bring about some more Catholic bishops by ordaining them following the dictates of the communist anti-Christian government of China without the prior consent or approval or knowledge of the Vatican. And of course the Catholic Church is rightly appalled by that development. Pope Benedict has mentioned that this is a serious wound to the unity of the Church. But again, it seems like that there are all kinds of forces out there trying to trample on Christian beliefs. And how long is Orthodox Christianity going to stand by 
before they start to retaliate in kind. My friends, the Bible prophesies that we are looking at the brink of nuclear war which will engulf the entire earth. And unless and until Jesus Christ returns, no human life would be saved. These are the times we are living in and we can clearly see the beginning of sorrows as they are rising at this point with all the different developments as we can observe them. You need to know, my friends, where you stand and what you are to do about it. Now, there is nothing perhaps you can do physically to protect yourself from these terrible times to come. It's a great tribulation, as it's called in the Bible. But you can make sure, and you should make sure, that your spiritual house is in order, that you are living a life which is pleasing to God so that God can protect you. Because God does offer protection, even from these terrible times ahead of us in order to help you to understand more what you ought to do to protect you and your loved ones. Please read our free booklet, The Great Tribulation and the Day of the Lord. You can go to our website, www.standingwatch.org, and download the booklet from there if you want to do that. There are terrible times ahead. All these wild speculations regarding nuclear war might not be all that wild, in the near future. So you are to watch and you also are to make sure that your life is pleasing to God. Until next time, this is Norbert Link for the Standing Watch program.